Well, good evening. We get started a couple of minutes early. I uh, just posted a couple reminders to everybody that if anybody wants to join in and come chat, more than welcome. We got uh, actually working on the DLC tonight. Get my headset on here. Let's see. Uh, oops. There we go. All right. Put the mic here a little bit. You can hear my fan. Hello, hello. Might be too quiet. All right. Let's do full right bit off right now. Okay. <laughs> so I am doing, if I see if I can pronounce this uh, name right here. One sec, let's go take a look at. I think I've got a lot of upgrades I can do. <laughs> I have 16. I've got 16 uh, upgrade points available to me that I have not been doing. Oh, uh, let's see. That. Let's just uh, get some of these upgrades done really quick while we're waiting for everybody to. Uh, on here. That one is as high as it'll go. This one I could upgrade. Let's see, counterattack after a cycle. Counterattack, and this attack deals 30% damage per skill level. Let's pull. Uh, fast attacks and I'll play bleeding effect. Killing an opponent instantly. Max that one out, right? or special abilities. Casting a sign drill and points available will be consumed to upgrade the sign to the highest level. Okay, oh, bonuses. Sign intensity. So I have three left. I don't use the crossbow very much, so I'm not really... Worried about Grab 
upgrading those ones too much. Okay, and I can also these got that one, got that one. Kind of want this one just for fun. Okay, meditation. I'll need. Uh, Okay, that's beasts. I think it had other characters. Okay, so the guy that we're doing missions for, uh, check to make sure everything's still running good before we get to get too far into it. <clears throat> uh, is this guy here? Uh, met him earlier in the game. I don't remember what I did for him then. Uh, it was a while ago. Anyway, his brother died, and we're this other guy that Let's see if I can find him really quick. Been working with Shawnee lately. Um, I don't think I don't think I had any of her on the last video. So we had to go do uh, go to a wedding with this guy. So this is his brother that died, and one of the wishes that he wanted was to give him the night of his life. So we took him out with Shawnee. We went to her friend's wedding. There's a bunch of stuff to do at the wedding and whatever. It was it felt kind of witcherish, but at the same time it didn't. Uh, but it was it was it was pretty fun. All right, so who's this guy? He's kind of almost like he's got some type of magic ability, but. He does at the same time. It's really weird. Probably see him as well. It might be this guy, but I don't think it is. Just met him. We're actually going to be trying to break into this guy's vault. He's kind of a little bit of a prick. Hey man, what's up? Just kind of going over where we're at on stuff. This guy. So I think this guy wants out from under Ogier von Everick's uh, control or out of his pact or something like that. So anyway, he has to do three wishes. So that's what we're helping him with because he saved our life. We got captured on last week's when we got captured we killed the frog and he showed up so since then i ran some side mission stuff and well main mission stuff whatever went and talked with this guy and have to fulfill three of his wishes so we went to we went and one of his wishes was to give his brother a good time and his brother is this goat. Well, he's dead. He's a ghost. So we had to bring him kind of sort of back to life and basically let him take over Geralt's body. Uh, basically like he's being possessed. So you're kind of jumping back and forth between this guy's character. Uh, showed it, but now I don't remember words. I probably passed it. Uh, and Geralt's like back and forth. And we went out with Shawnee to her friend's wedding. Oh, here we go. Vladimir. So this guy. And he's kind of like this rich kid type attitude. You can get any girl he wants or whatever. It was it was interesting. So I went out with him and Shawnee there. Um, her and Johnny, her and Geralt actually hooked up afterwards. Uh, let's see. 
So now we're going to the next mission is we have to uh, like pick up or get it, it gives you the impression you're supposed to like steal the house of okay still where's the quest there we go uh, go to Mercedes auction house uh, and ask for the owner can we did that um Okay, once he, Ogier's wishes were unusual, to say the least. Okay, one of the demands was for Geralt to bring him the house of Maximilian Bersodi. That's what we're trying to figure out is when you first heard it, you think his literal house. And I don't think that's exactly what it is. But we don't know. The, there's a guy we met, and we'll be meeting with him again he's kind of has a black yeah okay so we just met this lady so we got she is our uh kind of gonna be like our way in she's the specialist, she's gonna like kind of gonna climb up and set down a rope in a building that we're trying to get to. Uh, let's see, so we're gonna be working with her. We're working with this guy. We got him to. He's gonna one that's actually gonna blow the safe or the vault, and then the guy, the guy that's kind of putting all all this into motion. He's been trying to. Break into this vault for not him. Uh, well, we'll find him. I can't think of his name right now. I don't notice him up here. Might oh, we don't know his name. That's right. So it's this guy. He never actually gave us his name. So we're working with him, and we're going out and finding three people to put the team together. One for the vault, one to help us get into the building, and I think there was one more. Maybe it was only the two. So that's where we're at. Uh, the mission that I'm on right now, I just picked the lady up here. I had to kind of do a... Do you guys, do you have sound? For some reason, I'm not getting any. Oh, my headset turned off, that's why. Apparently I was talking too long or something. And I wasn't getting any sound through. Okay, so prepare a cleansing mixture that will weaken the Redanian soldiers that are watching over this building that has the vault we're trying to get into. So... Let's go do that. Let's see. I have no idea what I am trying to do. Quest cleansing mixture. Is that what it said? A cleansing mixture? It's a list, okay. Okay. Oh, so now we're supposed to go talk to the cook. Use Richard's interest to eavesdrop on Virginia soldiers patrolling Oxenford and find out where to find their cook. Okay. Horse X. What's up, Roach? Faster. Hopefully I'm going the right way. Was there a... Go there. I don't have to go very far, but... Slow now. 
go back and fast travel because it's faster. That's the whole point of fast travel, right? Kind of follows the main. I was right by it. <laughs> okay, here. So this this DLC, which we're working on, Hearts of Stone, is shorter. Like I actually looked at kind of all the missions that were in it, and it's. This is the main one. I think there's one other little one after, so it's not that long of a, a DLC. But the other one, uh, Blood and Wine, is supposed to be about another 30 hours. And apparently will be... Alright, so I guess I'm just gonna... What do you have to say? Lance Corporal Vatslav. How'd that prick wind up? Ah, oh, oh, volunteer. Fuck, what's your step? Word is he had to bribe the medics to let him enlist. Are you mad or what? And that's just it. Certifiably insane. Didn't pass yeah, listen for a sec. But to pay hard coin to enter the army. I thought at my age nothing could surprise me. Nothing about the cook. Okay, I'm actually going to switch sides here real quick. To the left, so I'm not. We go around. Oh. So these are all the soldiers we're gonna have to avoid. <laughs> what do you have to say? You got a daughter? I do ask. Well, think on it. To marry into a dynasty like that, it'd be like living in clover. Trust me, you do better not to take any interest in the Basodis. <laughs> well, hell not. It can only bring trouble, mate. Only trouble. Do that. Mm, nothing interesting. What do you have to say? Mm, fish chowder for supper. Who here's cook? The truth. Who told you? No one. Came through the western gate the morn. No one. Came through the western gate the morn. Saw Martin on the pier, rod in hand, fishing. Cook lad, that's the right treasure he is. No griping about poor supplies. Just the gumption to enrich our gruel. Nah, aye. If only he'd go a bit lighter on the garlic. Pier near the western gate. Should be easy enough to find. All right. Garrison Cook. Ah! Fuck. Da -da -da. Oh, so check this out, John. So I'm running just obviously 1080p, but this is uh, ultra graphics with hair. Check this out. Uh, under video, under graphics. So I'm running ultra. I don't have ray tracing on. Uh, FSR quality is all the way up. I don't have dynamic resolution, which that doesn't matter. But motion blur and blur, I don't like those on. But I did turn the hair works, max everything up, and all other settings here are on ultra. Not bad for a 1070 and an older i7. Definitely super smooth. Stay out of my way. Feels smooth. All right. Uh, 
there's nobody here. That's worth anything. We got over here. Oh, just a plant. Hmm. I'm not quite sure. I have had a lot more, like, almost like weird mix up with the game. Recently, I don't know if it's patch or just you know PC stuff. There. Hmm. Cook is not showing up, so. spots on the map to search during the day okay Did I miss that part so we go on med tight let's see Nine AM. That'll work. <gasps> there he is. Mm -hmm. Must be the cook. Good day. Fish biting. Aye, they're biting. What about you? What's that? Got this mixture. Pay you to pour it in the soup for the boys of the garrison, on my signal. Nothing dangerous about it. Most they'll think is that the fish wasn't exactly fresh. It'll cost you, mate. Something dear. Eh. Five hundred. I got it. Uh, here. Wait for the signal, and mum's the word. Understood. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> okay, go to the Herbalist Hut and prepare for the rally. Alright. We're gonna meet this guy again. Uh, where's the closest? I just uh, back to the herbalist hut. Yeah, I believe it's for everything. So yeah, I mean the hair works and all that kind of stuff. Hey there. Oh, so long. Don't need to talk to him. He's not the herbalist. Down here, this guy has a secret lair, secret room. If everybody else is here. And mighty must be midst the unattached. I am. The only for a wee spell now. 
Is that so? Impossible. Only a fool would loosen their hold on a mate like you. Ah, at last, we're all here. Time okay, to so it's just for us. Let's heist. It's no jest. So if any of you has any doubts, isn't sure, now's the time to leave. Won't be able to after. The Volsodi's auction house, it's vault. That's our target. Everline, you'll enter through the tower when the patrol rounds this corner. Drop us a line. We have to be inside within five minutes, is that enough? It's plenty. Splendid. Once we're all in the tower, we'll proceed to the auction house. Shouldn't see any guards inside. If we do, we'll have Geralt and his blades. Then, downstairs to the vault. Casimir blows the vault door. We go in, take the loot, disappear out the back through a secret passage. I've said my piece. Any questions? Let's see. Plan B. All good and fine, except what if something goes wrong? Seriously. You're on your own. We all are. Just like that? No room for friendship in this business. Additional security measures. Traps. Any inside? Anything we need to watch out for? Nothing particularly dangerous. Here on the ground floor, there's a rope linked to the bell in the tower. Anyone sounds the alarm, there'll be trouble. How do we stop it from ringing? Don't pull the rope. As I said, the auction house ought to be empty. I don't expect any problems. And the vault? Is it secured somehow? Even if it is, my blend of saltpeter, cordite, and fulminating silver will do the trick. Anything else? Yeah, why well, can't we get in through the secret passage? Got a horse sense take on this. Secret passage. If we plan to use it on the way out, why not on the way in? Excellent question. Why not? Every corridor has two ends, right? Like a rope. I know the location of just one end. It's in the vault. The other, it's somewhere beneath the city. But I can't tell you where. Mm -hmm. Great. Aye, but you could... Find that location. I wouldn't need any of you. Believe you me, I've tried. Time and again. Anything else? Huh? I don't have any... It won't, it won't let me ask any more questions, so I guess we're gonna get to work. All right, let's get to work. I want to be done with this as soon as possible. We'll reconvene in the gateway beside the tower. Midnight sharp. And everyone's to make sure they're not followed. I'll get word to the cook in the barracks. What about masks? Got a rather recognizable mug myself. I'll tend to that. Ah, one last thing. Inform the City Watch. Blabber anything about this over a nail, and I'll kill you with my own hands. Uh. Hmm. Sure know how to motivate a crew. No matter. <laughs> See you there. All right. <clears throat> I don't know if this is going to save, but I might save just so I... Quest updated. This one. Okay. Save the game. Then we'll have to go through all of that again. Close, and then we'll meditate till midnight. Good day, 
Have you seen any of the, the cyberpunk stuff? Uh, where it shows like the ray tracing and stuff, like everything just maxed out. It's, it's pretty crazy. Oh, I keep hitting the wrong buttons tonight. Okay. Uh... Let's do this. Wow, got an early bird in our midst. Prime, just one patrol. Mixture of yours must have worked. Nevertheless, hey. you ready? Are you kidding? Of course I am. Three. Two, one. It's clear. On your way. Oh, she has a little bit of arm strength, doesn't she? City foul shite all over again. Patrols turning round. We've one minute. Move. Damn, I should have blown myself a bet's prick and all. <laughs> So he, he, his wife left him, and he, when I found him, he was on top of his roof with, like, dynamite up there, about ready to blow himself to bits. And I saved him. Ooh, that was a close one. Stupid birds. Oh, he didn't say anything. Jeez. There's in some ways I kind of like these parts of it as a cutscene. Bugger all! You said there'd be no one inside. Seems my informer was wrong. Is that all you've got to say? I nearly <sighs> broke my neck. You knew what you were signing up for. This is no time to argue. Gotta agree. Backing out's not an option anymore. Need to see this through, whatever happens. Hallowed words. One guard could mean many more. You'd best draw your sword now. No. What now? No one dies. Said so from the start. Apparently I'll get wooden swords. Whatever. Don your masks and let's go. She's got a nice beard on her, doesn't she? Ooh, I get to be a king. Nice. Uh, crouch. No, nope. how do you crouch? Clear for now. Knock on wood. Good. Eyes in the back of your heads, everyone. Mine are open. I've only seen several things I'd gladly take with me. 
Note now, the vault, that's our target. Is that clear? Yes, but we shall raise the starting pr- Watch this! Guards! Guards! Well, that's that. Yeah, fuck it. You said- I damn well know what I said. At them before they sound the alarm. Lovely. Never find a witcher. That was kind of cool. Stop him! He's not to flee! Should have cut the rope. Lock themselves in. Bollocks! Damn it. Lay down your arms! You have no chance! Perhaps not. But we do have hostages. Mercy, master! On the count of three, we go in. One, two! Come one step closer and folk will die. Hold now! We must negotiate. What are your demands? To release the hostages? Buy us a bit of time, Geralt. We have one demand. Pull back from the auction house. You know I cannot do that. You can, just not sure you want to. How about I help you decide, kill a hostage? Just do what they want, I beg you! <laughs> Calm yourself. No one is to be harmed, clear? Nothing simpler. So long as you take your boys and pull out, we'll all live happily ever after. Who? I repeat. That is not an option. We must bargain, reach an agreement. So we want a wagon and horses. It's the middle of the night. Where am I to find a wagon? Rather go looking for caskets. <laughs> he means it. Good point. A wagon then. What kind? We're not picky. Any old cart, long as it has wheels that roll. All right, I'll get it done. In exchange, you must release the hostages. How many? All of them. Here we go. Tell you what, this thing sweeps around pretty freaking quick. Can't see nothing. Not move. There we go. Guy's a sword, you can't really do anything. <laughs> Damn it, explosion triggered that fight. Could have done without both. That explosion gets us in the vault. 
Where's Eveline? She's fled. All the better. Fewer hands reaching out for loot. Come on before reinforcements arrive. Holy crap, the vault's like way down here. Curious what's in the vault, because he wants something to- fine whoop that was! A wee bit loud, I on account I had to add more fulminating silver than usual, but- uh... I'm not interested. No one's interested. We go in. Geralt, you're at the fore. Why me? It's why I hired you. Now move, with no time. This is huge. You don't know who you're fucking with. On the contrary, I know all too well. Yeah, you all? Greetings, brother. Been years. Okay, this is interesting. Stone me stupid and slap me happy. Think you owe us an explanation, you old Borsodi. This family reunion. What's the point? Revenge. For betrayal. Years of poverty. Humiliation. Father left the auction house to me in his will. Horst cheated me. Had me disinherited. Anything. Ooh. Everything we earned, you squandered on cards and whores. Father didn't see that. I did. That's no excuse, Horst. Save your life. You two, stand with me. I'll not let the Redanians lay a hand on you. Give you whatever you want. A desperate attempt at bribery going once, twice, thrice. Hmm. No takers, no sale. Oh, we'll take whatever we please. Once we've ripped your runners from your ass! Hallowed words, mate. Adam! Die! Get round it, right? Can happen. I'd have preferred to resolve this elsewise. Stolen the scrolls, thrown you out into the street. Revenge is best served cold, after all. But I don't mind serving it hot. <laughs> I beg you, mercy for your brother. I shall do anything you ask. Truly. Anything. Anything. Sign over to me. Walk out as you stand, with just the clothing on your back. Allow me one thing, any one thing. Fifteen years. In the sewers. Bang. Like a beast, and you the cheek. To plead? Oh. <laughs> That's got to hurt. Take that. Ow, man, he must have been a little upset with his brother. Yeah. Ugh. Okay. Satisfied? Exceptionally. You? No. And I won't be until I find Max Bersodi's house. In this vault, or so you said. And it is. There. But I fear it's not yours for the taking. You see, 
It houses my father's will. A scroll thanks to which Ewald Borsoldi, long missing, will assume the family fortune. And Geralt of Rivia, who you cheated, what'll he assume? Alas, but he's free to choose anything else. Gents, gents, keep calm. Don't provoke me. Never know. Might choose to take your head. You're wounded. Tired. Figure my chances are good. Figure this out. I could drop you easily, but maybe I don't have to. We could try to figure this out. A compromise looks unlikely. We both want Max's house. Not quite. You just need the contents. Me, the box. The downstairs! So be it. Seal it with a handshake. Oof! That's a load off my prick! Give me the damn casket, and let's get out of here. As you wish. This way. Hmm, interesting. Alright, get out of the auction house. Guess we're going this way. Whoa. Okay, I'm just gonna jump. It's not the wrong lever. Okay, where do we come out at? Well, here's where our paths part. Shut up. Was I that bad? No. But you came awfully close, Ewald. Survived by a hair. Take care, Casimir. Here's hoping Euphemia sees the light, comes back. Oh, plow her moods and ayers. With the gold I've got, love just ain't nothing I need. <laughs> Smart man. In that case, you and your coin purse live happily ever after. Fairness. Okay, take Maximilian Bersodi's house to Ogier. Oh, I don't even know how to pronounce his name. Ogierd. <clears throat> All right, let's get out of here. Where's the closest fast travel point? Where's the bridge? Choked to death on three pounds of steel. Oh, what? I know he's in the city. What's he doing in the city? Interesting. I think last time I met with him, it wasn't even close to the city, but... You know, he could have traveled in. You never know. One drink all I had. One drink all I had. Oh, no, wait. I didn't mean him in here. Blimey. Those are some razors you've got. Bloody <laughs> little herring. Crown a piece. Huh? Need to chat. I'm all ears with you. Got something for you. I love gifts. 
But I prefer to unwrap them in private. Oi, lads, mind the barrels. Going out for a jabber with Geralt. Come. Oh, that's better. Hopefully this is what he wanted. All right. What do you have for me? Max Persoli's house, as requested. The papers, where are they? Left them in the vault. You wanted the house, you got the house. Never mentioned its contents. You're a quick study. Already as tricky as old Dim himself. Keen to ridicule a man. Do you know what I and the company do with your type? No. Dying to hear, though. Always liked a tale with a thrill. I'm in no mood for jests. Neither am I. Did my job, Olgird. Delivered what you asked for, to the letter. Unhappy? Hell, should have chosen your words more carefully. Yes, I should have. I assume you came to an agreement with Horst. Shame. A right horse in that one. Made a deal with his brother, who then beat the living shit out of Horst with a gold candle holder. Ha. <laughs> it's progress. Horst's His stories are so involved, it's awesome. Did you know about him? I should think so. Ewald was famous in certain circles. Which ones? The kind noble witches don't usually associate with. He murdered for coin, no questions. Without batting an eye. Always extravagantly, though. If not for his damn surname, I believe I'd have invited him to join the company. Why did you even need those papers? To sink the Borsodes, naturally. You see, I learned of an interesting clause in old man Maximilian's will. It states that his sons must meet and shake hands in agreement at least once a year at Bellatane. Failing that, the auction house must be auctioned off. The proceeds to go to Bill Maria's hospital. Huh. Guess the old man sensed what might happen. Aim to deliver those papers to the right hands. Borsodi would have landed in the streets. And the hospital would have gotten the funds it needs to treat orphans and beggars pro bono. Awfully noble of you, showing so much concern for the needy. I couldn't give a rat's ass about the needy. May they wither and disappear along with the city. I wanted one thing. Revenge. The Borsodis. What's your gripe? They're kicked out of an auction? Worse. They evicted me from my home. Are you really interested? Wouldn't yeah. have asked if I wasn't. Ha! <laughs> Cheeky as ever. My family. They took on some debt. A poor investment in a sawmill. A bad crop one year. A lawsuit lost. You know how it is. When it rains, it pours. We needed but a few weeks to recover. But Horst Borsodi had acquired our debt. All of it. Demanded it be repaid immediately. I pleaded. I begged. I tore open my shirt at his threshold. Ugh. It was like talking to a wall. I went to the auction. Saw those perfumed pricks by my father's sword. My mother's death mask. My brother's horse tack. Ah. Horst earned a pretty pile selling our mementos. No surprise the animosity you feel for him. That was but the start. My Iris's parents learned of my family's misfortune. And our betrothal was no more. They found her another suitor. One from beyond the sea. The anger I felt. I thought I'd gone mad. Went to the tavern. Drank around. A second. A broad. Then had another tankard. And then... Then... I asked the wrong bloke for help. What happened then? Ah, what happened then, Witcher? 
was one big stinking pile of shite. Well, why do you stand there? Do you need something still? task. So I've done two of his tasks so far. Time you stated it. A moment, Geralt. I must say to something. Then we'll chat. You there. Yank the herring out the barrel. Anybody in there? This dallying. Oh, oh, oh. Now, ready to listen? Or do you still not give two shites about what I've got to say? I'm ready. I'm listening. Good. You'll return to your lord and tell him as follows. His demand was brazen. Hurt me to the core. For I was brought up to respect the sacred law of hospitality. And I shall not bend to an uncouth boar's dictum. Understood. I will pay him a visit shortly to test his willingness to adapt. So you ride off and announce me. And don't spare your horse. Got it? Aye, got it. Give this man a mount and leave him go. Come with you. We must talk outside. This is going to be the third. Dear Fury, believe the third we should wish. only discuss important matters out of doors with the gods as witnesses. We keep that man in a barrel. Barrel? What was that about? On the way here, we stopped for nourishment at a tavern belonging to one Lord Dauntless. We enjoyed ourselves as one does at an inn, raucously. Our antics were not to the liking of this Dauntless. Sent a man to warn us that if we were ever to return, we would hang. You burned the inn down? I <laughs> left ample compensation with the innkeep. But it seems the rapscallion neglected to mention this to his lord. But that's of little import. What matters is someone called me a horse and threatened to kill me. It was one of those threats that sound like an invitation. I intend to accept it. Return to those parts. Fulfilled two of your wishes. Time I learned the third. Confident, aren't you? Proud, sure of your strengths. Fearless. Third task, if you don't mind. Mutations. They stripped you of emotion. A little bit. Tell me, have you ever loved? I mean, truly loved. Yeah, I've loved. Can we get to the matter at hand? Perhaps instead we ought to sit down inside. Have a good chat over some fiery water. We'll drink once the job's done. Afraid that's impossible. Succeed and that's the end of me. Fail and you'll not be back. Third wish, still waiting to hear it. Why aren't you stubborn? Fine. <laughs> this guy keeps pushing well. the camera. I had a wife once. The day I saw her last, I gave her a rose, a violet one. Purple rose. Bring me that blue. Wouldn't mind reminding myself what it looks like. <sighs> when was that? How long's it been? Flowers wilted and turned to dust by now. You wished to hear a wish. Now you out. Fulfill it. I ride now to visit this Dauntless, but one of my men will remain here. He'll know how to find me. That is, of course, should you succeed. At least you could tell me where your wife is. In my old manor, east of Martin Foy's farmstead. I'd wish you Godspeed, but, well, you understand, I'm sure. Goodbye, Geralt. This is going to be interesting. 
Scenes from a marriage. <clears throat> Go to the Von Everett Manor. Man, all these guys are sick from that stuff I gave them. Doing all I had. Got a full proof method for exercising witches. Alright. Let's. Side. See if we can get a little closer with some fast travel. It feels weird so like I can't call the horse right now. Kind of weird. This will run. Actually, no. Save really quick. Yep. I haven't saved in a while. your senses and call the horse. It's so weird. Not 100% sure if it's a glitch with the game or just for some reason it's not allowing me to right now. Who knows? I have no idea what to expect on this one. Hey, okay. you want that? Rusty and covered in creepers need another way in. Kendrick! 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 You there? Not so loud. Ah! God, scared me off to- Not so loud, I said. <laughs> Fog's not natural. Could be something in there hiding. Foglets or air nymphs, for example. Don't want to attract them, believe me. F F Foglets? Oh, sweet mother, my little why did I ever come here? Good question, why are you here? Good question, what are you doing here? See, Kendrick and me, we thought man has been empty all these years, full of fine things, going to rot. <clears throat> so you're a thief? Thief steal from the living. What's the arm taking from the dead? Kendrick went to open the door. I stood watch. Suddenly heard his lamp smash. And nothing. Quiet. Called out to him, but... What? What, what was that? One of them foglets you spoke of? No. Phew. That's the stone off I'll my... see what that was and look for your partner. You ain't about to wait around. I'm out of here. <laughs> that thing looked kind of big. This estate. How am I gonna find that rose in this fog? Someone's still tending to the flower beds. No violet rose, though. Fresh manure. Ice cold, mountain stream cold. Huh. Oh. Rather worn, used often. Wonder by who.
What are you doing in a place like this? Best shoe before you get hurt. Is he staying with me? Did I just get a dog? rotted completely no violet rose here maybe somewhere out back okay still looking forward to whatever that thing was I'm gonna save right here just for fun because I hate redoing the lamp and the grounds trampled somebody dragged something this way a body someone dragged a wounded man through here from cleated boots, leading from the back of the garden. And the gate. A black cat with freaky eyes. I'd scooch along, kitty. This place. What's that? That. Digging. A lockpick? Must have been the other thieves. Curious what uh, I'm gonna find over here. What the heck is that? I like that sword. I don't know why it glows. It's just cool. Other thief. Bodies mutilated. Who are you? I'm gonna get my butt kicked. Oh, 
Holy so Jeez. Ow. It's tough. this one. I wonder if I've got any uh, armor or anything that might help me a little bit. things I just have to take my time with more than anything I think. You get in there quicker when he does that. things, which is kind of weird.
Get in there. Get in there. Not necessarily stretchy, I don't think, but... That was intense. Holy cow. What the fuck was that? <laughs> no eyes or nostrils, deformed organs. Damn thing had no right to be alive. Why is this cat creeping up on me? And the dog. Well, Dude, that would like be Philosophers do still debate what it means to be alive, exactly. Normally I'd be shocked, but not after what I just saw. Who are you two? Clearly not animals. Think of us as friends of the house. What about this thing? What can you tell me? Friend of yours? We called him the caretaker. Doesn't look like any creature I've ever seen. Where'd it come from? From very far away. He was summoned to guard Lady Iris in the home. He tended the garden, took care of unwanted guests. Very far away, meaning where exactly? The name of this place would mean naught to you. Hmm. What's with the show? The pretense that you're animals. You couldn't have warned me? No. We're obliged to maintain discretion. So why talk to me at all? Why? Well, we get so few chances to talk to humans, and we're curious to know what brought you. Gonna need a better answer than that. Later. You know the master of the house, the owner? Olgird von Everick. Yes, we know him, but he left, and his wife became mistress of the house. Great. So, Lady von Everick home? Could you announce me, say she has a guest? Why do you wish to see her? I'm here to get the violet rose Old Gear gave Iris just before he left. Iris is inside, in the bedchamber upstairs. Take his key. It opens the rear door. Interesting. Guess I'll make my own introductions. And they're gone. So, how should I address you? As you did now. We'd rather keep our names to ourselves. Okay. Can I save? I not want to repeat that fight again. That was almost... That and the frog, I think, were my... Toughest. Leave before it's too late. See where I'm going...
This is definitely an interesting DLC for sure. Kidding. <laughs> what the hell was that? Anybody else freaked out? That. There's a bunch of cool stuff in there. What else we got? To keep going unfortunately just don't jump out and scare the crap out of me Side and around. Again, not freaky. <laughs> Might actually need to repair my sword. One of my swords needed repaired. Oh, 
there we go. What? Ah. Yeah, silver sword needs repaired. Again. Let's see. Not sure which one I'm actually using, but. This one's not as tough, that other one's here in the roof. Whoa. I might have to look up uh, <clears throat> some tricks for these ones, because holy cow. Any ideas, John? <laughs> Usually the wraiths aren't that bad, but... It's just a little. taking turns or something.
this. Yeah, they just keep coming. Sorry, I thought I tried burning one, but... I tried burning one last time, but it didn't look like it did anything. spend six hours trying to fish this one. Hold on one sec. Uh, what was that mission? Whoops, wrong keyboard. See what this says because I'm in it more for the story than I am completing. Caretaker, okay, got him. And our discussion, caretaker wrapping up, go through the door to the right. You're moving through the door to the hall, you have a short mini boss fight. A very angry wraith. Use Quinn to prevent yourself from taking too much damage. If her health gets too low, she'll activate a healing portal in one of the four paintings on the walls. Strike these with your sword or destructive sign to prevent her from healing or using them to teleport around the arena. This will also grant her full heal. Once her spirit is returned to the proper realm, move through the door. Okay, so I do have to destroy them. So it is the same wraith. Uh... Then 
chamber. Iris was supposed to be here. There's Iris. Gotta be her. Damn it. You wish to see her? Here she is. A man should frame his wishes carefully. It forestalls disappointment. This some sick joke. Why didn't you tell me she was dead right away? You didn't ask. <sighs> and why hasn't anyone buried her? We can't. As for the caretaker, the one you cut down, while still alive, she ordered him to stay away from her for all time. Okay. How did she die? Don't see any wounds, evidence of a fight. Her heart burst. Meaning what? A heart attack? No, it simply burst. Find that hard to believe. Yet that's precisely what happened. One day Iris locked the front door, lay down here and died. From grief, from loneliness. See, see the rose on her head? Ghosts, restless, angry, attacks intruders. Know why? Lady Von Everick has endured much hardship. She's unaccustomed to guests and not fond of strange folk. She can't hear us. The deeper I get into this, the more I gotta wonder. Why are you even helping me? We were summoned to serve Iris Von Everick. Our mistress died. But that did not free us from her service. Got it. You want to leave this place, leave these bodies. Surprised? No, not at all. Seems I gotta speak to Iris's ghost. It's no easy task to contact the mistress. Rage and bitterness fill her. Got my ways. To make contact with Iris, I gotta bury her body. But that caretaker's macabre little cemetery won't do. Too much blood, too much fear. She spent much time in the front garden. Hmm, maybe there. Wait. Take this key. It opens the front door. Good dog. <laughs> All right. Oh, jeez. This is definitely a... She liked to sit here, but this is not a good place for a grave. Too close to the house. I'll keep searching. adored flowers but she would never want to destroy them hmm. all right I'll dig the grave somewhere else yeah. this place seems suitable yes she loved to paint did Iris von Everick have any last requests? Say how she wanted her remains disposed of? She feared death. Worried none would see to her burial or say a kind word in parting. Guess I'll be the one to do that. Let's go with... I didn't know Iris von Everek, so I can't say much about her. Fate had it a stranger now lays her remains in the grave. 
At times, fate muddles our path, and life turns toilsome, hard to bear. Yet all deserve respite and peace in death. You two, got any last words for your mistress? We don't partake in human rituals. Trusting that what you've done is in keeping with your customs. Your name's inscribed in this sketchbook. Perhaps you'd like it to be buried with you. Here we go. The remains are interred. Let's summon her. Tormented spirit, I've laid your bones to rest. Forget your wrath, forget your grief. Show yourself. Ain't that pretty. Forgive me for tearing you from your realm. I need to ask you. Should I follow you? All right. Well, this gets stranger and stranger, doesn't it? Like, uh, what's that one movie where they jump into the paintings? What is this place? <laughs> the painted world. The work of Iris von Everek. How do you two get in here? We exist in both worlds at once. All right, this is lovely and all, but where's Iris? You awoke her, but for a moment. If you wish to speak to her, you must tear her from her slumber completely. Sure, but how? You're a tracker, right? Saw you examining the tracks outside. Yeah, so? This is a world built of memories blurred and wilting. Moments our mistress wishes to forget, but cannot. You need to find them, restore them, summon the fears that torment Iris, and destroy them. Oh my gosh. Easy to say. in mid-motion one of her memories it is blurred incomplete you must restore it for a special occasion. Wine cup, just like the one Olgierd's holding. Perfect match. Your health, my dear wife. And yours, my husband. 
In my land, custom calls that newlyweds be greeted with bread and salt. But we're alone for now. I need none but you. Oh, if only this moment could last forever. I shall see what I can do. But come in and see our home. Gladly, but I know this sounds silly. Yet the house has sat empty for so long and I'm... Afraid of spiders. I know, I know. I swept them all up and tossed them in the garden. My knight, you've seen to everything. Coming. A wraith? No, a nightmare. A fear crystallized, one you must now face. <sighs> Calls things you like it goes on forever. to say this is probably the freakiest no I don't want to extinguish that another dream of the past but this one's incomplete too silver thread pearls it all must have cost a fortune a lavish feast trying to impress the guests wife liked flowers. Judging by the ornamentation, this might be hers. How do I interact? I'm pretty sure this is where the flowers go, but I don't know how to... Just a little different than the painting. I did not see anything that was different. Wait, hold on. Castel Ravello, a Toussaint wine. Expensive. Okay, 
Missing something, but I don't know what it is. Anything. You see anything, John? Let me remove myself it's just so that. Oh. Fire's lit. All three. All right, hold on. So. That was lit. That was lit. This one was lit in the picture. Weird. Just the fire. My darling, is everything all right? You seem pale, out of sorts. Everything's fine, really. But why don't you tell me how you fare? I'm ever so happy to see you. Except. Why didn't Grandmama and Grandpapa come? It's a long, rugged journey. Muddy. They still refuse to meet me. Is that it? And what's this? We brought some of Iris's things. Her favorite brush, her cherished doll, ah, and uh, this for you. Banknotes. We paid off your debts bought them out to avoid bringing shame to the family so nice of mama and papa to remember me oh kid now you see his true nature i warned you before the wedding a ruffian and a boar who keeps the company of bandits are you not afraid to live under one roof with that rabble? So let's find you again. Don't like this place. <laughs> yeah. You and me both. I'll try to go upstairs. Is it? It's late. Sleep. Up all night in your study again, I see. 
What have you got on your hands? Nothing. Got a bit dirty, that's it. Is that blood? Have you hurt yourself? Ink stains. I was writing letters. I shall go to Oxenfurt soon. Perhaps you'd come with me. Oh, that's a marvellous idea. A trip would do us both so much good. Then it's decided. Now, time for bed. I'm exhausted. I shan't fall asleep now. It's out of the question. Come, I shall finish your portrait. Portrait time. Another blurred memory. I wonder if that's what he's wanting. She painted all geared, but the details are off. Living tableau's missing something. Fresh, as if someone just rinsed it. Living tableau's gotta look just like the painting. Uh, do I want? Grapes or apples? Let's do grapes. Oh, gee. Fits, I think. Mm, still not right. Grapes. Purple, green, red. Goblet, like the one in the painting. Else oh, missing. Tableau's gotta look just like the painting. This for the apple. On the right. This goes here. Goblet goes in the middle. Maybe on this side. Finally, just like the picture. Smile a bit wider. Like this. You were meant to smile, not bear your teeth. <laughs> no, still wrong. Smile like you did when Papa agreed we could marry. Please. Hmm? You're useless. I can tell something's bothering you. I have a bit of work I should see to. Again? Old gear, we agreed not to keep any secrets from one another. We promised. Forgive me. I don't wish to discuss this. Old gear. Old gear. Okay. Oh, please, no. I don't want to fight a race again. This is so weird. Master von Everick study. Here he immersed himself in the arcane arts. Well, that's new.
candles. Blood pacts or on foreign presences. Mm. The tome about parley and was demons. depressingly gloomy in the winter. Heck, am I supposed to restore this? Pentagrams here to bind summoned beings. Lines aren't all clear, though. Need chalk to fix them. Then I can set out the candles. These wax candles. I haven't found chalk yet. Is there chalk anywhere in here? No. Chalk. The gates of mystery. Between worlds. The library of an occultist. I bet. Did it pick it up? <sighs> Black magic. Yay. <laughs> that should do it. Now for the candles. What about this? Not even a fizzle. How about this? Come back! We must talk! Go away. I wish to be alone. Not this time. Come out at once! Leave me be. I merely want to work in peace. Oh, there's a skull there in the front. What other spell must I use, damn it? I've tried them all. I wish to end our pact. I summon it! Weird. Damn it. Smack in the middle of a raging blizzard. Gotta find shelter. Get inside. What the hell? Dude, this has got me all sorts of like. Oh, gear didn't let them in. They froze to death. started smoking. Deer tankered, but there was vodka in it, drained to the last drop. Probably not 
Right. So that's how he whiled away the long winter evenings. Probably not right. Probably not right. A knife covered in blood. Guess Olgir got the scars on his shoulders that winter. Probably not right. A marriage contract between Iris and Olgird. Her father must have been holding the contract. Furthermore, it is agreed that Iris shall be accorded the respect she is owed. That you shall heed her counsel and requests, and... Get to the point, Father. My patience runs thin. Gladly. On Iris's request, I declare this marriage null and void. You vowed to remain with me, till death do us part. And I've held to my vow. The old geared I married is no more. Breaking a word once given does not come that easy. Believe me. You shall stay here. Forever. Enough! You will not command us. You will... Servants, take this carcass and feed it to the beasts. Oh boy. Then Von Everick ceased to be human. Though he still loved his wife. No, he merely remembered that he should love her. Let's go upstairs. He wins. This seems to take forever. I think this is the longest mission I think I've done. I remember. We spent much time together here, the three of us. In silence. We'll take our places, the same as then. You do the rest. Claw scratches. Small bowl. For soup, maybe. A large clay bowl. Something wrong. Single place setting. No others on the table. Probably not right. Okay. Small roll? Probably not right. Okay. This was yours. There we go. All right, I'm missing something. Up oh, over here. Good trailer. match you actually ate from these bowls of course not I already told you we're not animals but the caretaker would set them out all the same as ordered another monstrosity I begged you to stop this those two are too too many as it is the dog and cat keep you company this one will protect you care for the house no matter what happens 
Before, I wished to know what was going on in that head of yours. I thought perhaps I could help. Now, I care not the slightest what you think or how you feel. I... feel nothing. Just as I no longer know if I still hate you. Go, Olgird. I want you out of my sight. Olgird von Everek failed to understand we'd never be able to replace him. His spectre now casts a shadow over Lady Iris's every remembrance. We're almost at our journey's end. What's there? Iris von Everick's greatest fear. I might have to actually call this man. I'm getting tired. Can I save here? Will let me save. Cool. I don't know. I want to continue. My dearest wife, letters from Old Gear to Iris, where I only as skilled with words as I am with my blade, especially now when an icy void grips my heart. I see how you look at me, and I see you with her. I cannot help you, but I believe I can cease harming you. This letter and this rose are my farewell. May you live in health and remember but the good times. Oh, gear. This ain't freaky at all. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Oh. Back. You're not him. Wait, I want to talk. Not here. Not in this place. I 
I'm sorry. I mistook you for another. For Olgird? I thought he'd returned. To me. What are you? A ghost? An illusion? I am sadness. I saw you before, but you weren't yourself. Then I saw you again in your memories. We've met. I don't recall. I had bad dreams. That is all I know. I've come for the violet rose Olgir gave you. On the day we saw one another for the last time. I dried it and placed it in our chamber at my bedside. I lay there for days, staring at it, until at last it crumbled into dust, as did I soon after. So, the rose is gone? Not from this world. Look, you buried my body and the flowers bloomed once more. And I, I was held in a deep, dark sleep. Only now have I awoken, just like my beautiful rose. When you placed the sketchbook on my grave, I remembered learning to draw my husband's face. Tell me, how is Olgird? Healthy? Does he fare well? Your husband hunts out ever stronger sensations. He tempts fate, because at heart he's unhappy. At heart he is stone, so nothing has changed. And did... did Olgird mention me? What did he say? Not much, but I didn't ask about you. He just sent me to retrieve the rose. The rose? The last I have left of him. His last gift. Got a feeling the rose is important to you, more than a memento. I remember so little. Yet when I think of my rose, I begin to recall what was. The world around me turns real, and I... My eyes open wide and I recognize things. Remember who I am and who I was. A friend once told me about a case like this. Could be strong emotions that bind you to the rose. Feelings we witchers call pins. They're what keeps you in this world. Like an insect pinned in a collection case. Horrible. Need to be honest. If I take the rose, you might cease to exist. As might the world you built around you. And what will happen then? Shall I be free of the suffering, the sadness? Is it the void that awaits? I don't know. I don't wish to suffer any longer. But I fear there will be cold and darkness until... there is nothing at all. I need the rose. Will you give it to me? It's so fragile. Look, the petal edges have turned crimson, as they were on the day I received it. The one thing missing is the single drop of dew which slid down the leaf when I took the rose in hand. Or was it blood? Because I pricked my finger. I can't remember. 
You know, I never did read the letter from Olgird. I didn't have to. And I needn't have kept the flower he left me. I've come to a decision. I shall give you the rose. Our service thus ends. Thank you, stranger, for freeing us. Before we go, some advice. Beware of the one called the Man of Glass. Stand in his way, and you'll meet a fate worse than death. Seek salvation in glass that can't be broken. Glass that can't be broken? So long. Gotta remember that one. So that's I'll the one guy, the mirror guy. Iris von Everek. That no longer matters. Farewell. The guy that I'm doing these three wishes for is the man of mirrors. So that last little bit, I think, is referring to him. So don't stand in his way, but find a, and the glass is broken. Makes sense. Alright, so I got the rose. All of that for a rose. Okay. Now I'm gonna call it one a save. Holy crap. Alright, I'm going to call it a night there. You guys have a good night, and we'll see you next Wednesday. If anything happens between now and then, I will catch you guys up. Have a good night.